Hi, and welcome to Saints Cast. We're men without makeup talking about sports. I'm Scott Cass, and alongside me, Stephen Delgadio. Championship weekend here on campus. Three teams with the opportunity to clinch their ticket to the NCAA tournament. But first, let's head to some regular season action for both the men's and women's hockey teams. So the women in action on Friday night against RPI, that's Heidersbach to Marchman, back to Heidersbach. She finished the game with two points, a goal and assist, as the Saints beat RPI 2 to nothing. Jumping ahead to Saturday now, Saints at Union, some slow-mo action here. Union's Nicole Russell thinks she's going to get a goal, but Brooke Waleko says no, denying her fla flashing the leather, I'm sorry. Saints win 2-1 to one behind goals from Webster and Heidersbach. They're at 500 for the first time this season. Let's go to Appleton Arena with the men hosting Union here. We're going to see Eric Sweetman with a nifty goal right there, and he's not done as you're going to see him absolutely level the opponent, showing how good of a defenseman he is. Saints go on to win a chippy game against Union 6-3. to Going to Saturday, we're going to see Drew Smolsinski. He's going to take it all the way up the ice right here, and I'm going to give you a spoiler. He's going to score on an absolute snipe. The Saints go on to lose 4-3 to in overtime. Gavin Bayrou through with two assists. Men's and women's swimming and diving also in action this weekend. At home, taking on RIT. Unfortunately, both would fall. But no, that's not Michael Phelps. It's Robert Burke. He took home the 200-meter individual medley, while Taylor McClung won the 500 and the 1,000 freestyle. Some volleyball action at Clarkson University for their Liberty League playoffs. Saints taking on Union in the semifinal. We're going to see Mariah Dignan pass to Katie Cole out to Christina DeShane, who went over 1,000 career kills in this game as the Saints fall to Union 3-0, ending their season with a 17-18 record. Saints taking on RIT Liberty League semifinal. Amy Reiner sends in a beautiful ball. Sam Rock gets the header. That gave the Saints a 2-1 lead. She'd score again a minute 21 later. They go on to win 3-1. Championship, here we come. Championship time. Saints here taking on William Smith. Kaylee White gets the goal. And if you score on William Smith, keep the ball. First goal scored in the league on them all year. However, the Saints would go on to lose 2-1 in overtime, but got an at-large bid at the NCAA tournament. Saints football in action at Hobart, where they have a chance to clinch the Liberty League. Leandre Simon, as you see, got a touchdown and a pick, but the Saints unfortunately fall 19-17 to Hobart. They will have a chance to clinch the Liberty League against Merchant Marine at home on Saturday. Men's soccer also in the Liberty League semifinals. We'll pick it up 42nd minute. Morgan Smith sends in a corner. It's going to go past our screen but find the head of Eddie Gonzalez. It falls to Charlton Kelly, who puts it in for the game winner. They, too, are onto the championship, 2-1. to one. Championship time here as well. We got Ryan Grant running up the field against Skidmore. Nice give and go to Austin Diltz, and Grant ices it. His second of the game. Saints win 3-1. to one. They'll be home this weekend in the NCAA tournament. So a very exciting weekend for Saints Athletics this past weekend, but an even more exciting weekend coming up. Both the men's and women's soccer teams received bids to the NCAA tournament. The women hit the road, head to Williams, take on the College of New Jersey, their first bid to the tournament since 1989. The men, again, are at home. They'll take on Sage on Saturday. Come to the game, or if you can't, watch it on your computer, listen to my smooth vocals. What else we got going on? Well, on Friday, Appleton Arena will be rocking as arch-rival Clarkson comes to town. Men's and women's basketball also get a start this weekend. Women on the road, men at home. And football will be playing Merchant Marine, as we said, with a chance to clinch the Liberty League at Leckenby Stadium. You know, with the calendar turning, no shave November started. I see your sexy stubble starting up, Scott. Oh, it's coming in nice. I haven't shaved in like three months, and it's looking good. Well, I hope it starts uh, growing faster so you can get a beard. But for all of us here at SaintsCast, thanks a lot.